Hello, hello. Currently, I've been a bit tied up because I've been working on some journals, but I've also been working on a new kit. So um, I'm working on, I've kind of gone back to the old days, really. I'm, I'm making some traveller's notebooks and some inserts. And what got me started, really, was um, when I did the big room move, I got rid of so much that I just didn't use and I knew I wasn't going to use it. But I also had a lot of things that I hoarded. So the leatherette, for example, um, and this gorgeous fabric that I got from the lovely Wendy um, from Wendy's Journals Adventures is a recent gift from the marvellous Corey. Um, this fabric here came from the wonderful Chantelle at Red Page Cafe. And this is another one from Corey. This is another one from um, Wendy. Uh, I think this one came from Liz, who is Mrs. Cog. I have some I've been making um, that I got from the lovely Jessica Harris. And this Tim Holtz fabric and some of these other beautiful vintage fabrics I've, I've been hoarding. And I did, I promised, I promised I would use things. So I am, I'm using things. And it's a bit sad, but it's a bit lovely as well, seeing them in a journal. However, let me explain. Um, I'd already, I'd kind of, I'd, I've got about five or six more ideas for a, a compendium kit. But um, I made these these little tabs for this particular journal and somebody asked if there was going to be a kit and there was there was I was making some digitally and then I decided I would it would it was a similar theme I would tie it into a new compendium kit so what I did was I've made something to show you one the new compendium kit has these tabs for you to just print and go so um i've got them in here i've been using the papers in this journal too so um yeah uh, that's where this kind of all tied together really the kit and um the journals so what we're going to do is we're making something for the blue traveler's notebook the smaller one um today and i'm going to use the compendium kit <coughs> Let me show you the full kit here. So that's the kit. Um, <laughs> the cat is extremely interested in being in this room at the moment because uh, of the elastic. So I'm having to hide those um, notebooks every time. Every time I'm, I'm not actually physically got them in my hand. So I'm going to start with these three backgrounds. I'm probably only going to make one tag on film now what i want to do these are the background tags that come with the kit um and these are oh yeah i sort of didn't finish where i was going with that so basically what i did in this compendium kit is um i asked a few people and i've ditched the in this kit i've ditched the the, the discs and the dominoes and i have swapped them for the page tabs there's a page of the paperclip slips that match the kit and there's also a page of slides that match the kit. Now what I want to do is kind of coordinate a little bit. Let's see which ones go with which. That goes quite well on there. I'm just going to match up a couple. I mean that obviously goes on there but I don't want to go for the obvious. Oh, sorry cat. Plastic. Come on. <gasps> right, let's have another look at these. So, 
Um, let's have a look at that one on there. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Sorry, I won't be able to breathe now for a little while. Um, is now pick slides that will kind of coordinate again with those. Now, obviously, the slide that matches the top tag will coordinate like so, obviously, because that's got the the same colours in. That one, I think I'm going to switch it. Maybe this one, I'm going to go for the orange. So we've got three, three slides, three tags. I'm going to put these two aside for now. Let's just work on one. Now I've got my Amazon packaging. So the first thing I'm going to do is just back these tags. This is um, this is what happens when the cat gets too close to me, especially when I touch her and her hair goes flying, and then I can't breathe for a little while. Taking an antihistamine and my puffer. Now I have to decide kind of what I'm going to do with these because I've got a few things out here. Um, but obviously this is definitely on the agenda to use. So I'm going to just close that up. I'm just going to ink this too. I've got some transparencies here. So these are from the... Um, I think it's family snaps i'll pop the link down below who might wear these boots possibly somebody like this let's just cut that off yes i like that Okay, so I'm going to just glue, not too close to those edges, because I don't want the glue to seep into the picture. Put that down. Right, I'm just going to glue this closed. Pretty, like that. So in the compendium kit, I didn't do any plain slides at all. There's not variations. There's just one page um, of the slides. Now, if I get her in the right place, you can kind of see her face a little bit there. Now, what I want to do is sew my tag, but I think I... Oh, let's have a think. So if she's going to go around there, about here, I think this is the one I need to sew around, but do I want to add anything else before... I do that. That's quite good, isn't it? Yes, I'm going to go for her and I'm going to cut her down just a little bit. So we only need a single. My little koi brushes. Um, I'm now on the second one because they are quite small and I didn't put the first one away and that's disappeared somewhere. But these are really, really good. These little makeup sponges. Right, I'm going to maybe have a look at label. Bit of a story with my labels because they were kind of organised and then Jay knocked the drawer the drawer over <laughs> so they're now not so organized um it's a 
a little bit of a rummage and see. That's quite cool. I like that one. Right, I'm going to put those away before they come to even more harm. I've got a few choices. Let's just trim that down a little bit. So my side is going to go roughly there. I want a label or two. I think I'm going to have something under there because that needs to be broken up slightly. Do I want to sew, oh, no, I haven't done this one yet. Is I've got to decide if I'm going to sew both tags or just the one. I think it will be just the one. But I want everything glued into place in case I change my mind. Right. So this is going to be a very simple layered tag, really. Let me just bring the phone down a bit. I want to add something here, I think, before I sew. And I am going to sew around both tags. Now, what I have is in my, I am going to use things. I have these very precious little pieces of tatting that I got from the marvellous Emily on my design team. And I absolutely, are, I'm treasuring these. So... It would be one only if I use it. That's quite cute. Yes, yes, I'm going to do that. Say. So I'm going to sew around both of my tags and I will be back. So they're both sewn quite like those. Um, that is absolutely beautiful and I'm a little bit disappointed I've got to cover some of that up because it is absolutely beautiful. Did a little bit of zigzag stitching there as well. So what I need to do is attach my slide to this tag um, and I want to do that using um, grommets so let's try and do this as logically as possible so I don't mess it up too much. The first thing I want to do is just get the holes in the right place. I'm going to put I'm going to put a hole here and here. I think level with that. And there. Right. I'm going to go for the small hole. And try and line these up as best I can. It's always tricky. But we'll do we'll do the best we can do. Or I'll do the rest I can do. Yes, cat. Right. So I just want to spin round my little groovy bits. Oops. Excuse me, flips. Right, now I've got four of these to attach and I need four of the little tiny... Let me just grab a little tin. This is going to be a lot trickier. Right, so again, these are, they're this, and they are from Trimming Shop in the UK, and I have recently started using their larger ones as well, and I've got to say, they are the best eyelets I've ever used. I do like the um, Draper ones. They are pretty fabulous. 
but the ones that I've got from the trimming shop with the little backs are just fabulous. I'll show you an example shortly. So that's the front and that's the back. Can you see how cool is that? They are absolutely marvellous. Well, they're not perfectly straight, but you know, we'll pull some of this. I think this might be a little bit too thick. So what I'm going to do is just cut a length of that off and remove one of my strands. So I think it's a three strand twine. So I'm going to remove a strand to make that two strands. So I just give that a little twist. Um, I want it to tie at the back so it's going to come out, out of here. there and then it will come through there over there maybe I should have had it at the front right so now the trick is to hold this in place while well, we tighten these threads want it about there I'm just going to put a little bit of pressure where the slide is under my palm there and tie this off So this is obviously not going to go in any general pocket because it's going to be a little bit bulky by the time I've finished. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to glue this little piece of fabric down like that. Right. Glue the back of my tag. Just position that. Hold that down. Gonna put some clamps just to hold that in place for a bit. Oh, ooh, that just, just reaches there. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kind of keep that twine. I'm just gonna put a little bead of glue there to hold that piece down over the top of that second tag. So we've got some layering going on, but. I really didn't want to lose too much of that beautiful tatting. Grab the journal out of hiding. And that is just going to pop inside my front cover like that. Because I just think these colours just lend themselves to each other really. And um, there you go. That's my little slide hangy tag. Or layered slide hangy tag for this traveller's notebook. So thank you so much for coming along. Um, I hope you like the new kit. I will be back really soon. Take care. Bye.